Hey guys, Matthew here. Um, I'm an associate lecturer at the University of Technology Sydney and I'm the guy that's going to be looking after your kind of rhino education with another guy called Oliver Bennett. And I was the guy that uh, got the short end of the straw and I'm stuck here in a laboratory making videos. Um, so uh, if you dislike the sound of my voice, which I do, uh, you can blame um, Oliver for get not getting the short straw. Nevertheless, um, so I just wanted to have a quick introduction uh, and talk to you about what we'll be doing. So I've got Rhino over in front of me and this is the software we'll be learning. So Rhino was originally a plugin for AutoCAD uh, and then eventually became its own software. Uh, AutoCAD is pretty much a predominant uh, CAD software in um, practice. It was invented in 1982 so it's actually quite outdated now. But Rhino has all of that stuff so if you learn uh, Rhino you buy association no AutoCAD uh, with a bit of help, um, which you can probably teach yourself. And uh, it also has a very, very good 3D capacity. So it's a very good tool for one, architectural drawing, and then two, being creative uh, formally and flamboyantly within your uh, process. Um, so there's going to be a whole bunch of videos. Uh, there'll be a, a timeline for them. You'll be able to do them whenever you want. But the point of these videos is that your lab tutor now doesn't have to show you how to do basic things. So you shouldn't need to go to your lab tutor and ask them how to move something or how to um, make a square or um, you know how to model something very, very particularly, unless it's quite difficult. So the value of the lab tutor, instead of telling you how to use a software, is to help you build up your problem solving skills, which is, is the far more important part of software education than the actual knowing things. So, say for example you wanted to learn the English language, well, you could learn all the words, um, but then you wouldn't know how to put them together. So you need practice knowing how to put those words together to string together sentences, to then string together paragraphs, and to actually create meaning, and to actually know what you're doing. So. There's no point actually showing you every single command in Rhino. We can actually export those into videos and into what will be revealed later to you with Cheat Sheet. And you can figure out what all of them do. And the tutor specialization is to help you go from the words to the sentences. So problem solving is probably the biggest part of this, um, this course. So we'll look at uh, the interface. Then we'll start looking at geometry and transforms. We'll then introduce you to a cheat sheet, and I'll look at. Uh, we will look at in detail how to join things and deal with uh, good joints, and what happens if joining doesn't work. How can you do it manually? And then we'll start moving on to um, drawing and how to begin to draw in the software. So uh, that's the introduction. Um, I hope you, uh, you know, can deal with my voice for this period of time. Uh, but otherwise, um, yep, yeah, let's get started.